What up my builders? And yes, today let's talk about phones. Might sound so weird. As you may know that I just released a video yesterday in regards to the you know the Apex Summit and one of the th things that I haven't checked out is the you know President Russia Putin handing out this new phone, this Yotao phone to Xi Jinping. Chinese president and for me I just look at it and I'm like what is Russia fact? And one one thing that I, I don't understand about is when someone release a product, it's usually it's cliche advertisement, the slim of the phone, how it looks like the shine. No, this is a total different. Putin just pretty much demonstrated the phone after the meeting of the summit of the APEC and just show to um, you know Xi Jinping and I was like you, you just can't expect Putin to do this kind of stuff because you always see him on the news he's tough he's rough you know <clears throat> I have to see the clip he, he, he's like selling the product and I was like what is going on so this phone is a 4.7 screen I'm not sure is it the one of them or the second one but it's, that's a size screen now here's the magic. Is it so basically my phone? Alright, you can touch around and when you turn around, it's another screen. But the other screen is not LED. It's e-ink. So it's it's like Kindle. So it's black and white. And the good thing about the phone is that you know you can you know you can trans you can transfer the screen to the other side, whatever you're on, like you go through internet or some reading or some just browsing through websites and you go through the other side. And I find that it's pretty crazy. You got a phone and you just switch over and it's like Kindle. And it's perfect to go through browse website or you have a long read of Kindle or ebook as well. That's really perfect, you know. Um, as as I saw in the video, after you switch off the phone, it will still be on the back of the phone. Ink. And that saves a lot of batteries. Apparently, it doesn't use much battery as well. So, wow, I actually really like this phone. Um, also, you can pretty much can use any screensaver. So, for example, if, I, if you like a photo and you just transfer at the back, and that's your screensaver. And also, you can add some times and a battery life as well so basically you don't need to often press hold the whole time so you know that's pretty good you know hold it's not that great so when you hit that phone you just switch it over to the other side even the phone is dead or anything you can you notice what's the time battery life which is dead and the screensaver so basically you don't need a phone cover <laughs> you don't need that. Your top phone also went on the CNET Mobile Phone International and won CES 2013. Now, that, that, that must be something to want CNET for them to win CES award. I, I'm not sure what is CES stands for, but either way, they want something, so pretty sure it must be really big. But wow, even, even that sort of stuff they could do as well. And you got a phone. Screensaver as well as you can shoot things if you want at the back, read some ebooks, you know, go through pages and you know without draining battery. How awesome is that? Not draining any battery. Wow, but I don't know what's it like if you do a drop test, which screen will crack first? And you know, I wonder what's the downside like well, obviously, the first release, as I saw a couple of videos, it's a bit, um, you know, it's a bit bugged. But you know, every phone can't really sort like that, so I just can't blame on that. The phone apparently it costs six hundred seventy-three dollars in the US. I'm not sure how much is that gonna cost in Australia, but definitely that's gonna cost a lot for sure. What else? Mm, you know, I think if the phone is very professional. In a business meeting, rather than you know, you rather than just click on hold or just interrupt. Apparently, the back is really good for like um, you know, list to do, shopping list, or meetings, screensaver, like you know, something to reminder. Like you flip around, and 
how awesome is that? And the phone still can still you know, screen back screen function. I wonder if, I wonder if you, can, you can make an emergency call. I wonder what is the radiation be like on that phone. So yeah, let's. Uh, I'll see how it goes if I get my hands on it one day. For for them, just to touch around in the shop. Definitely, I'm not gonna buy one because I'm happy with my phone. So yeah. What do you think? Alright, I'll put the link below. Check it out before you comment on this phone. Alright, this phone is unique, it's different, you know. So, yeah, two screens. What do you think of it? Alright? I'm so fancy, but he's too fancy, oh. He got a penis and he cut it off.